Hi boys and girls, hi parents, your coach here Noel, and I want to show you how to work these subtraction problems using Common Core methods, okay? So boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this problem. This problem says 16 take away 8. Now, I want you to use this strategy and I always recommend for you to draw pictures, draw number lines, whatever it is that can make it easier for you, okay? But I found that this method makes it easy for me. So let's take a look at 16 minus 8, okay? What I'm going to do with this 8 here is I'm going to decompose it. I'm going to change it, okay? So this 8 is going to become 6 plus 2, okay? Now, can I do 16 take away 6? Sure I can. So let me go ahead and go to my number line. 16 take away 6, I know that it equals 10, I'm going to jump all the way right here. So that's minus 6 equals 10, and now I just have to do minus 2 more. 1, 2. And I'm right there, I'm going to jump here, so minus 2 more, it equals 8. 16 take away 8 equals 8. Was that pretty cool or what? Now let's take a look at this next one here using the same strategy. 14 take away 9 equals, hmm, how do I do that? Let's decompose this 9 so that I can make it into a 10. So 14 minus 4 equals 10, I know that. So now 4 plus 5 equals 9. So 4 plus 5 equals 9, I've had this 4 here, so I can subtract that easily to make 10. So I'm going to start my number line here. I'm going to jump all the way to 10, that's minus 4. And now I just have to do minus 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to make this jump, which is minus 5. And 14 take away 9 equals 5. And that's pretty much it, boys and girls. So I encourage you to use these number lines where you're subtracting this, these big numbers and make sure that you decompose the numbers so that you can find a 10. Finding tens makes life so much easier, boys and girls. And you're doing an outstanding job. Keep practicing. And parents and children, I'll see you at the next video.